What's up everybody, it's Alex and Marco the Vagabrothers, Brothers and welcome back to another video in our London City Guide. Okay, right now we are with Johnny from the Craft Beer Channel, and he's going to show us the best pubs and breweries in London, from the traditional to the latest trends. Yes, we don't have a huge amount of time, so we're going to get on with it. We're going to start with the biggest cliche we can. That's the traditional British pub. Let's go! Woo! Ugh, British beer. Warm, flat, pumped up from a barrel in the basement. Every American's worst nightmare. We told Johnny we liked our beers cold and carbonated, so to show us why Londoners were so fond of their beloved cask ales, he took us to a classic British pub, the Royal Albert. The reason we have cask ales is because this was invented long before your fizzy cold beer was. So this is what we used to drink. It used to be a little bit more sour, a little bit more funky because of the yeast. But we've kept that because there are major advantages to serving beer this way. It's because the warmer something is, the more you taste it. Okay. So are you saying that those beers that we you know, left down in the fridge overnight will actually taste better in the morning when they're warmer? No, it's not tasting better, you, you taste more of it. Everyone's had a warm can of shit. Yes. Yeah. And gone, and oh my like god, more shit. Yeah. These beers are all beautifully made and beautifully made to be served at 8 to 10 degrees. Over a lunch of classic pub grub, we asked Johnny why pubs played such a big role in British culture. So it used to be everything. Uh, it used to be where you you meet your friends after work. It's a public house, right? Yeah, exactly. It's a public house where everyone went to meet. You'd have village meetings, you'd have parish council meetings. Everyone would come here because it was a social pub. But Johnny explained that many pubs were closing because supermarkets were selling beer for much cheaper. Nevertheless, he argued that good pubs would survive. I mean, there's no institution in the world like the British pub. There is, you pay for the pub, you don't pay for the beer necessarily anymore. Johnny said beer culture is evolving, so next he took us to Meantime Brewery, ground zero in London's craft beer revolution, but also the birthplace of one of Britain's most legendary brews, the Porter. I'm taking these guys to Meantime for one very specific reason. This is the place where London Porter was invented. Hundreds of years ago, the porters, who were the people that worked at the ports unloading all the ships, uh, needed something to drink, and uh, this is what the brewers made for them. Just from entering into Meantime, I can feel that the vibe is a lot different. What's happening here? <laughs> well, I mean, this is where the craft beer revolution in the UK started. So about 30 years ago, say the 70s in the UK, we had no beer scenes. We had a bunch of brewers, all owned by big corporations, brewing really average beer. The meantime, came along in 2000, along with a couple of others, and just changed everything. They said, look, this beer is flat, this beer is warm, not everyone likes it. So they did a fizzy beer, they loaded it with rocks, and they stuck to some traditional recipes. So everyone went, that's what beer should taste like. I don't have to have this warm beer. They completely revolutionised the way that London was trying to beer. To further revolutionize the way Londoners drink, we had a few ideas of our own. In the spirit of bringing fun American games back to the old country, we're going to play a little bit of beer pong here with these guys. Good example. Let a professional drink have a go. How many have you had already, buddy? Sorry. All right. You guys can have them. <laughs> All games aside, there was still a lot to explore. So we took a cab to one of London's newest breweries. So we're off to Bermondsey Beer Mile. It's a, a, a one road in London where seven of the best, newest breweries we have are lined up and people do the crawl between all of them on a Saturday. It's, it's like Christmas. We stopped at Ants Back and Hobby and asked head brewers Jack and Paul how it all got started. It really started around here specifically with a brewery called The Colonel and they, they took one of the arches just over there when they first uh, moved in and then that kind of created a real hub for, for beer around here. The arches themselves really lend themselves to breweries because they're inherently quite cool and stable temperature wise and relatively cheap. I saw the label on your, on your beers and that's actually one of the, the coolest things that we've seen because you, you definitely have such a, a contrast between the old and yeah. the new, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the old for the IPA for example, there's an old school British, I guess, Sir Richard Burton Explorer. Yeah, yeah. And then there's the modern backpacker yeah, taking a selfie. Yeah. So, how do you see that juxtaposition of old and new reflected in your beers? It's always been about looking at inspiration from the past, specifically London's brewing history, and then putting like a modern, modern kind of twist on it. 
All along the archways, we found breweries that embodied the beer they produced. Something new and fresh, built within the foundations of Old London. Finally, we hopped on the overground and headed to our last stop, The Crate, a new tap house and restaurant right on Regent's Canal in Hackney Wick. After all these pints, I'm a little bit lost, Johnny. Where are we? We are now in Hackney Wick, trendy, trendy East London. Uh, but don't be fooled by the beards. Uh, it's not <laughs> a really trendy, nerdy place. It's sort of the place where people go, they like good beer, but don't know too much about it, want some good food, and want to sit in a boat and drink beer. Is this like the cherry on top of... Well, the thing, the thing that I've learned about beer since I started the beer channel is that good people drink good beer. And you never have any trouble in craft beer pubs. They're all lovely people. They get a little bit leery every now and then, but they're always lovely. Because, you know, foodies, they, for one reason, they're here to taste something good and be friends. And that's what this place is so good at. As you can tell by the fact we're sat so close to each other. Let's just look in. There's so much space. I, I, do think, I do think that there's, like, for me, I, I look at this place and I go, this is, like, this movement getting more popular. There's a lot of people from all over town here. They're enjoying craft beer. They're enjoying food. There's ambiance. It's been a great day. So thank you so much for showing us around London. Yes, thanks for having me. We want to bring it up one last time and tell you guys, if you want to learn more about craft beer, Head the Craft Beer Channel, see our beer reviews. We brought yeah. some beers out from California. Yeah, check those Five. videos out, they'll be going up soon. Yeah. Cheers, boys. Cheers, guys. Really good. There we are. Slick. Sorted. Are you ready for the best sound in the world? Making you wait. Watch where you aim that. Tricky one. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, that was disappointing. Right, cheers again. Oh. Cheers. Oh, Manners. You're running now. Yeah, man. We're eating jerk chicken in East London. Sound like a Scottish accent. No, man. <laughs> Scottish. <laughs> yeah, man.